Hi everyone, welcome back to our vlog. Today we are here in Sydney at Autoskin Australia. Can't wait to walk inside and meet a team. Let's go. So guys, I want you to meet the owners of Autoskin Australia, Marvin and Simon, who will share the story with us today. So guys, how are you? Hey Marvin, how, how are you? Good to see you. Hey Marvin, nice to see you, see you again. Um, so, would like to introduce yourself and tell us a bit more about your business? So, Autoskin is actually made up of four partners. Uh, two who are accountants, none installers and two who are installers. So, it makes us unique, Simon and I. Uh, you know, we've been working very closely over the last two or three years to build this business and this is where we are today. We're based in Alexandria, we specialize in paint protection film, vinyl wrapping, signage work and we have you know, one of the best, the, work, the owners of the business actually are the ones that work on your vehicles, we don't have any contractors. Why are you chosen this location? Why Alexandria? It's our city centre, why here? <laughs> well, look, Alexandria is definitely a growing area. Uh, at the time we were looking for workshops, we were looking everywhere. And it's so hard to find the right size yard. They're either too big or they're too small. But we found that in the location here, we are across the road from the Rolls Royce dealership, Aston Martin, across the road from McLaren. Uh, BMW used to be down the road, now they've moved back to Rush Cutters Bay. Uh, we've got Mercedes down the road, we have the Ferrari, only two satellites down the road. So that's why we, we, we've chosen this place mm -hmm. to actually make it, just to work with dealers and also with the public who are buying cars from dealers. Yeah, like our customers find it convenient too. Yeah, right? exactly. They'll, they'll buy their car from across the road and, and then drive it right there. Right, like something don't want, like paint protection. Yeah, you don't want to drive it they around. Don't, yeah. They don't want it damaged at all. And they yeah. know if they drive it straight here, hardly anything is going to happen. And then that paint is fresh. So yeah. it's, it's a win-win. Yeah. This is the first wrap shop where we're visiting that is operated by a few business partners. How does it work? Do you fight a lot? Um, no, no, that is a good question actually. Yeah, and it's not very common, I think. Um, what the best thing about it, I think, is, is that because there's four people, we also have so many skills in between us. So if I can't do something, I know my other business partner knows how to do it, or he can do it. Sometimes, you know, there are not arguments, but there's, there's always going to be a discussion and communication. But as long as the communication is strong between everyone, which we all are, we're all pretty close to each other. We always aim to bring out the best result possible. And that's where all our skill sets apart, yeah. sort of bring together and create that result. I'd like to also add to that. It's like actually, it's like you're never at work because you're always having fun. That's right. It's always a laugh. We're all it's doing always, our passions and yeah, we're putting and it together into we're something. We're doing it together, 100%, I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. I think the industry is, is really, really growing. Oh yeah, it's I mean, you know, Sometimes you just want to have a small piece of a big pie mm. rather than have a whole big pie yeah. together. And it just makes it easier. Yeah. Just people take off your load. That's the whole idea about business partners. Just to you know, concentrate on what you're doing and what you're really good at. Exactly. Yeah, you same. can't do everything. Oh, yeah. At the end yeah. of the day, you can't do everything. How long you're in the industry? Um, I think in, in total with all of us here, more than 10 years experience um, all our team has had in terms of whether that be vinyl wrapping, whether that be in car mechanics, which does play a bit of a role sometimes, spray painting, panel beating, design, accounting. Accounting, more than 20 years. <laughs> more than 20 years. Oh, yeah. So like, when you look at it in a total like that, going yeah. back to your question before about having so many business partners, that's the beauty yeah. that, we, that we sort of created with our, with our brand and, and with our company. Is there anything special about your business? Yes, it's us. What I love about business is anyone that walks into the workshop, regardless what car they drive, regardless what what the value of the vehicle is, they're all treated the same. Every vehicle, whether it's a brand new vehicle, a second hand vehicle, whether it's a 20,000 vehicle or a half a million dollar vehicle, 
is this passion behind it to get the results that we want. Uh, and we always find that people that actually come and visit us, they're not just coming to you know, get a job done, they've become part of a family. So, you know, it's just, it's amazing the amount of people and the, the, every single customer that's walked in here ends up being almost as friend. And that's what we like to have with it. That's yeah, actually, it's a close partnership with yeah, our customers. Then. That's right, and that's exactly how I met yeah. Simon and okay. Luke. Through, through that. Yeah, same, yeah. Same I was a customer and I loved it so much and, and I wanted to being... change my life That's and right. wanted to do something that I was passionate about and that was the way in. That's really, right. and I haven't like... regretted it since. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Nice. It's a very yeah. cool story that's you know, like actually yeah, you, yeah. you've been a customer. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. And now we became right. like a business partner that's and right. we work together. Mm. It's very incredible. Oh, thank yeah. you. What is the most impressive project you have worked on? Okay, I'll tell you the project and I'll tell you also one of the biggest achievements for Autoskin okay. as a whole. Last year we were part of uh, a night at Vivid Festival in okay. the city yeah, yeah. called Alpha Royale which is which is one weekend part of the 21 Day Vivid Festival and Autoskin was the only wrapping shop that was actually in, in the event. We had some customers' cars and some supercars, and to us, that is one of the, that was, when I stood there, it was like one of the biggest achievements for Autoskin. Uh, in terms of projects, we've had some projects that we were part of that were actually you know, part of car launches, that even before they hit the market, before even we saw some cars, yeah. one car actually. Yeah, we can't, we, we we can't even, take photos, until so, like, uh, yeah. we, we, the amount of documents we had to sign, I know, I know yeah, so, <laughs> so what about the, the GQ car? That one was. We had the G, GQ magazine of the year event. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Revolve when the Revolve, uh, which is an online American website, came to Australia. They had about three different buses that we wrapped for them. Center Point Tower. Oh yeah. Westfield. The West Christmas. Okay. This, this last Christmas, we had a, we done a Morris Minor in, in the most amazing color. That was really that was nice. Really See, nice, like, yeah. usually I go every year to Christmas, see the decorations, and yeah, like, yeah. I love it. Like, I go with my family, and this year we got to go to the same place we always go, and I saw yeah. my project in the exactly. middle of the and and It was a great feeling that, that I had, and everyone was proud of us. Um, but it was such a nice, nice feeling to have when you saw something like that, that you worked on at the epicenter of, of a big, yes. big display. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. I just saw Louis Vuitton wrap, like print wrap. What the heck? <laughs> That's is this related to some project? Yeah, so my sister. <laughs> okay. Because yeah. I just saw this wrong. I was like, this is unique, uh, this is different. My, my sister wanted to have, uh, only for the interior of her car actually. Oh, okay. So we didn't do the outside, we just did certain inserts in the dash. And, okay. uh, so yeah, she loves you. Yeah. This is unique. It's a girly. Okay. That's, that's definitely. <laughs> Nice. We've got some spare if someone wants to get <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the rolls. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know, guys? Gucci, LV, <laughs> all, all licensed. Yeah. Armani, Gucci, all that stuff. We just, all the skin of Australia is a place for it. <laughs> Thank you guys for sharing this with us. We would like to show us around. We'd love to. Thank yeah. you, Marcus. Let's go. Let's, yeah. go. Let's, have a look, guys. Let's start with this table. I really like it. Oh, thank you. It's nice and organized and clean, which is yeah. important for a wrap shop. Um, and I also have a surprise for you. Well, it lights up. LED. Yeah. Definitely a lot easier to do weeding and taking off PPF as well with having the LED. It's a big difference. Where got this idea? Um, I actually got it from you. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> just, um, I but was... I had to make the idea come to life. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's just IKEA furniture on the bottom. Um, and then we've got the L channels in the inside, putting the LED strips, and then it's got an acrylic, acrylic perspex on the top um, with PPF on top of that, just to protect it. Um, it's pretty simple when you think about it, but definitely have to no measurements. 
Yeah. And, and as you see, you know, we have all the shelf to organize our material. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, it's, it helps out a lot. Just separating all my offcuts if I have a customer come in. Um, it's so much easier to look through than just trying to go through all the pieces everywhere. So just a little bit help. We now just something else. Oh, I noticed my leg. <laughs> <left arm. laughs> because I follow you on uh, on Instagram, and oh, okay. I know that you're building some yeah, good this new one, stuff. This one I just finished. So I just what I do is I just go to car mechanics um, and go through their scrap bins, and I just build lamps out of car parts. Really, I just put them all together and. Yeah, so now I've started a new branding on these lamps, Auto Glow. Uh, but at the moment they're on Simon Vela Design, which is my design page. Um, but yeah, uh, this is pretty much where where I live. Not a lot, really? but this is where all the magic happens here in this corner. So we've got the brand new Graph Tech. Yeah, I was. Uh, I want to say, oh, it's no dust, and it looks no, like no, it's, it's it's new. We've only had it for about a month now. So okay. um, we have another color, which was still good, but this is miles miles better it's a lot easier to cut a lot quicker too for the ppf especially um, it automatically aligns itself it's great before i have to do everything manually uh, and it works great with illustrator which is what i usually use um, what a lot of the wrapping places use as well for doing all your design work so yeah it's pretty it's pretty simple setup but like typical design design setup two screens um, good computer, gaming PC, that's, that's about it. <laughs> you work here or gaming? <laughs> no, 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 my computer at home is a lot better than that one, but that one's still very good. <laughs> uh, well, let's go downstairs, let's have a look at the rest of the stuff. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. like a wall for the customers to see color yeah. options. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty handy. Like they, they bring their, custom, their car in and they can look straight at the wall and look at all the different options that we have. You know, you can pick up pick up a sample, bring it to the car. Yeah, I, I like having this. This is nice, wide, straight in your face. Um, we've got everything all available here. Maybe we'll put some photos of the of the projects we've I'd done as well. That would be, really be a good idea. Be, yeah, yeah. I really like your workshop um, that is have like mezzanine and you can see actual like mm. work area from upstairs. Yeah. Really handy. To uh, you know, you can always just monitor what someone's doing up there if you really wanted to, but mm. nah, we don't really do that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, most important question. Yeah. Do you have any job for me today? Uh, you shouldn't have asked that question, but yes. We've we are, always got something. <laughs> always have something got a, in the shop. A, a bonnet for a G Wagon that we need to wrap. G Wagon. La when last time I've been at our skin, actually wrapped G Wagon. That's right. <laughs> and now again. <laughs> you love me and G Wagons, yeah. yeah. <laughs> G Wagons love you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As I see you have a very beautiful looking Pearl White G63. As you mentioned before, I need to do this bonnet. What's your requirements for this job? The promise is we want the top quality. Top quality. As, okay. so as always. What we expect from Rap Virus <laughs> and also what we expect from all skin for our customers. What kind of material we will use on it? We're going to use. Uh, this one's Suntech. Suntech. Yeah, Suntech, which has the 10 year warranty. Yeah, okay. we'll the 10 year Suntech warranty in this one. The Ultra. Okay. So Suntech. we'll be covering all the, all the edges, yeah. making sure that they're going in. Um, be cutting around the badge. This badge probably looks very easy to take it off. Um, we yeah. might be able to pop it out. I think yeah. it's just clipped. The two clips, yeah, that's yeah. right. So it's even more flawless. So. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll just stretch it over, pop it on. Okay, let's move it inside and start working on it. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So guys, it's the time to prepare my tools and start working on it. No, straight away let's measure it. G63, it's very easy to remove the, this bonnet badge. You just need this kind of tool. That's it. This is 
how it's done. A customer requested to remove this krill and wrap inside around the edge. This is why I'm removing it. It's easy, very easy. Normally I will leave it to dry till tomorrow morning and I will um, fold it around the edge next day but because this car must leave today I use a heat gun just to dry the film and just stick it. Job is done. So let's have some fun and do some activities. Okay. I would like to answer me a few questions. What is your favorite pain protection film brand? Oh, okay, go. <laughs> What's your favorite pain protection film brand? Definitely Hexus and Suntec are up there. Okay, this With pain protection, they're both as good as each other. Okay. Um, yeah, I've had similar results with both, they're both good to work with. Okay. Um, we, we, we've got a good relationship with both as well. It's really just up to the customer which one they prefer, okay. but they're the two that we like to use. Yeah, we generally. always give options to the customer. Yeah, it's more so about the warranty. Yeah, yeah, yeah the warranty. Right. Some people have certain perception that Suntec is better, some people like mm -hmm. to yeah. that Hexis is better. Mm -hmm. So we leave it up to the customer. We show them both, both options and pr mm -hmm. price is normally Within, yeah, within usually very, it's the price yeah. that, that determines the, the result for the customer. Yeah, of course, um, this customer can choose. Yeah, exactly. But both of them are both good. Yeah. What is your favorite color change brand? Hmm. What's your favorite? At the moment, uh, it really depends on the color. But at the moment, yeah. there, there's it depends which which company brings out the, the new unique colors because they, they usually what's attractive. But at the moment, I think the the neon, the fluoro, oh, hexes in hexes, is really yeah, very that, that's uh, definitely appealing to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think from working with and, and looking at results, I think uh, Avery is what we use. The yeah, most. every Avery is probably what we use the most. But we we do use other yeah. brands as well. But, but 3M. There, Hexus. There, there's a couple of mm -hmm. new ones in the market. Some of them haven't even arrived to Australia yet. Mm -hmm. That we're actually looking forward to, to yeah, we're getting definitely. in the country and, and trying it. What is your three favorite bra tools in your bra shop? While I'm watching Simon or Full Can Rap, I like to have a nice seat. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Nice okay. cup of coffee. Doesn't even pick up the tools. Uh, a bottle of water, ready. <laughs> okay. yeah, my favorite thing is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And no, you're pretty good about the knife estate. You like the knife estate. I love watching yeah. knife. I love yeah. watching everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely the knife estate. Probably, probably my main main tool is definitely my knife. Oh, yeah. For a rapper is their knife. I use the Avery Dennison knife. Mm -hmm. um, every other every other tool, like there's so many tools that we use, and they all have a specific purpose. Really, knife is tape to like a little sister that you have to yeah. put in the little corner. Yeah. How much that has helped me out. So um, to, to clarify, yeah, the 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 blue and red uh, oh, yeah. uh, tucking. They're like the little tucking tool. Yeah. We call them the brother and the sister. The, brother and the, the blue sister. and the red one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <The> official. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's our little name for it. But yeah, the little yeah. tucker thing. But yeah, yeah like every every tool. We love the brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the biggest thing I would say is get the quality tools. 
don't cheap out on the cheap ones. It makes such a difference getting a good quality. Just for that extra few dollars, you'll end up buying a good quality tool later and then you've spent more money. So that would be my number one tip, for sure. Yeah. It's your top three tools? Your knife? My knife, the little Sista Agile, oh, Sista and Agile. probably knife or tape is definitely up there as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. What is your top three wrap shops from the entire world? Ooh. You, do you have any in the top of your head? No, I can no. use the wrappers, but I don't know about top wrap I've, shops. I've got a few, a few that I, I look, not look up to, but a lot of influence. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, on YouTube, like a premium auto styling, they're very good. They always keep oh, up with yes. current trends. Um, CK Wraps is also really good as well. Yeah. He does a lot of, you know, DIY, and when new products come out, he sort of tests them against others, which is really handy. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't always buy all the films, so it's good to see. Um, uh, Justin Pate is really good as well. Um, he's not he's, a rap shop. <laughs> no, he's not a rap shop. He's a rap institute. But he, he inspired me a lot. Okay, yeah. yeah he's, he's taught me a lot as well. So I like watching his YouTube videos as well. It's definitely a lot, a lot of YouTube people really influence me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys. Quiz time. Uh -oh. You need to pick a one answer. Knife or knife or table? Knife. Oh, no, knife. <laughs> <laughs> Torch or heat gun? Heat gun. There you go. Gloss or matte finish? Gloss. Matt. Oh, you're so different. <laughs> <laughs> Porsche or Ferrari? No, Porsche. No? No, Porsche. I'll say Porsche. <laughs> Porsche, okay. <laughs> We're good on one thing. Japanese. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Fra police, yes or no? No, no. Why no for rap police? Depending on what the intention is, mm -hmm. because I think it sometimes discourages a lot of people who are getting into the industry because they're really the ones that are being targeted with, mm -hmm. with the rap police. Mm -hmm. It's not a good thing. It should be the community should needs a lot of support. People should encourage each other, learn. If there's a mistake, they should be teaching what went wrong here, mm -hmm. uh, to avoid it in the future rather than just make fun of people. Okay. That's not. I think it's uh, it's almost like trolling on the internet, which I think is very really. Uh, you know, there's other pages out there on Facebook that do a really good job. A lot of communities yeah. come yeah, together yeah. and they post photos and people give really good answers, yeah. which is really like good to see yeah, as well. Exactly. There's other side to that yeah. story. Yeah, so. but the, the way they, they've done it is it might be entertaining at, at first, but mm -hmm. if someone's actually been featured there, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you never might. know what's like real story behind yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You don't know what film they're using, you don't know what environment, you don't know who done this talk. So. Maybe a guy done by himself and, or his, in his garage. And I personally exactly. think it actually. Uh, it makes it makes, the market, yeah, I think. makes the rap industry look uh, it makes it almost look like a, a joke or a dodgy with all these yeah. things. It's like you don't you don't hear about paint police mm -hmm. where factories even what comes out of factories sometimes. Yeah, paint like Tesla Model Three, are yeah. full of dust under clear coat. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> So well, I think it just discourages the industry and lowers the, the expectations of people, whether you're a rapper, whether you're a installer, whether you're uh, you know, a customer, it just, it's, it's tasteless. Okay. Both of you chosen pork. Why pork? Why not Ferrari? Uh, I like boxer engines. I have a boxer engine tattoo. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I'm more a Subaru, but uh, yeah, I like boxer engines. I like his tattoo, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why I like Porsche. <laughs> no, I love Porsche, it's got a lot of, it's still got a lot of history that, you know, you, you, you hear about the stories. The Ferrari is, yeah, it's got a lot of history too, which is very interesting. But Porsche is always coming up with new technology, new new things, and that's what I love. Okay, okay. One of you chosen matte finish, another gloss finish. This is your priority. Oh, uh, matte's like harder to clean. Oh, that's okay. Matte is a lot harder to clean. Okay. The gloss is easier to make look nice. Okay. So guys, uh, Rap City from Gold Coast have a question for you. You will see it on the screen. The Rap City question of the day is... What's the worst rap removal job you've taken on and how long did it take to do it? Wow. <laughs> rap City is like they're psychic. <laughs> yeah, they're psychic, definitely. That yeah. car there, yeah, we have that was behind there. us. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. So it has a matte, it had a matte black. Uh, wrap on it originally um, and then it had chrome signage on top 
So I had to peel the chrome without peeling off the black. Or damaging it. Or damaging oh. it. And it every time I peeled off a little bit of the chrome, it was a really cheap material. So it just flake away into a million pieces. Mind you, the job wasn't done by us. So we no, it wasn't by done by us. Oh, yeah. That's why you use good quality wrap. Um, but yeah, that took me about six or seven hours just to take off like five logos. From yeah, this, actually from this car. Yeah, yeah from this car. So <laughs> definitely, that was one of the worst ones I've experienced. So okay, like seven yeah. hours to take like two stickers off. Yeah. Oh, terrible. okay. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, the job is done. What do you think, uh, Simon? Ah, oh, you did a good job. The you material requirements? Yeah, it's fine. exactly like we said. All the edges are all clean. Uh, no bubbles, no scratches. Yeah, yeah couldn't have done a better job myself. Yeah. So. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> well, thank you Vitus for coming in today. I really appreciate it, uh, filming us about now our nice little space that we have here and showing the rest of the world um, auto skin thank you very much you're welcome and thank you guys for having me today it was a pleasure to work with you i wish you all the best with your business in the future and guys don't forget to check them on facebook instagram i will leave a link in the description below check them definitely this is it this day is over today we have visited one more incredible wrap shop and met a great people so guys, if you like our content, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and support us with your likes, comments and shares. And see you in next video.